This beach, a 75 year tradition in Justice of the Peace Derry Dunn's family. Our family's gone to Crystal Beach every summer since I was a little kid. This summer, it's no different. It was like about 40 people. Generations, young and old, gathered at the shore for a family reunion at the end of last month. Well, I was looking out there, and one of my grandsons looked like he was, the current was real strong along the, along the current. Dunn went in the water once to bring his eight year old grandson back to shore. I was only in the water for 10 minutes. About a week later, Dunn developed a fever and chills. Within hours, his leg looked like this. Well, it was an exciting birthday present. I woke up Saturday morning, my uh, leg from my ankle to the knee was just bright red. Putting the 69-year-old here at Baptist Hospital Orange. They got into high gear. They, they just, they just, they took it and ran with it. And as it turns out, we were in a time, a battle against time. Battling a flesh-eating bacteria, necrotizing fasciitis. The soft tissue infection starts when the bacteria enters the body, often through a minor cut or scrape. It can be scary because it can rapidly progress. It's not so much the redness, although you certainly don't want patients to have a lot of loss of tissue because you have to cut this tissue away to get control of the infection. But it's also the fact that they get very ill. They get systemically ill. They get sepsis. Dunn says Sunday there was a possibility doctors might have to amputate his leg. But after what Dunn calls a Christmas tree of antibiotics and surgery on his leg. But I'm a lot more hopeful today than I have been. He's got a ways to go, but we're going the right way. Dunn is showing improvement. Every now and then we're given tests to go through during our lifetime. And, and uh, I hope that I can pass this one and not have to take it again. A test others with the infection don't always survive. But in cases where patients wait or perhaps it's not recognized, it can progress rapidly in the other direction. Today, Dunn and his family credit his outlook to the hospital staff and an outpouring of prayers and support. I'm just, I'm speechless at the, this is nothing short of miraculous. Looks like we're, we're on the road home. In Orange, Haley Bull, Fox 4 News.